All right, hello everyone. I am trying for the third time to record this voiceover. <laughs> so um, in this video, we're making a sort of background thing for my YouTube videos when I do these procreate draw with me things. Um, as you can see right now, it's got that weird blue border and the gray on both sides. And I just don't like that. That is not the vibe. So instead we're going with this isometric desk scene sort of thing. Um, sorry if it went a little fast there in the beginning. Uh, this recording actually took over two hours. So I have shrunk it down to about 14 minutes. <laughs> So we've got the window up there in the top left, the desk in the middle, middle right. On the desk we've got a keyboard and a monitor. And down here in the bottom left I'm going to add a bookshelf. Just because I don't want that space to be empty. So what's a bookshelf without books? Add a couple of books in there and a pencil cup. And then on the top uh, we're going to add a potted plant. Unfortunately, I don't have any in real life. I have four cats and <laughs> they kill every plant I try to grow. Or grow. So there's that. Uh, so drawing in the keys on the keyboard, even sped up times six, it was still seven minutes worth of footage for just the line art of the keys. So you'll see later, I cut out almost all of that. <laughs> if anybody wants a longer video, I'd be happy to oblige. I still have the footage, but that was just taking way too long. Here you'll see me go through a few different chalk style brushes. I really wanted this chalk look. I wanted to like it, but I wasn't liking it. So I was trying a different Brush. This is the HB, I believe. I don't remember which one I ended up going with. I believe it was this one. But I just, I finally had to tell myself, trust the process, right? Like, go with it. And if you don't like it in the end, just do the line art over again. But at least get the colors down and see what it looks like with this line art. So that's what we're doing here, just super easy line art. And when I was first recording this video, I mentioned that I really like this procreate trick where you put things on separate layers so you can erase the parts you don't need without affecting the parts you do. So you can see me erasing the lines for the pot, but not touching the leaves. And it's so much easier that way. inking in the window, adding that little lip that goes around the glass. That was part I forgot. I don't know if your windows are like that, but mine are. Adding in the bookshelf. I chose to curve the back of the book here, or the spine of the book, because we have so many straight lines throughout this image that I just want to add some more curves in there to go with the plant. And not be just all straight lines like a Minecraft video or something. <laughs> and then this second smaller book I actually turned into a deck box. If you play Pokemon or Magic the Gathering, any of those trading card games, it's one of those. And then a paintbrush, a pencil. I was gonna put a pair of scissors but the angle was wrong and they were way too small. I just didn't like it so I turned it into a pen instead. onto the desk. Let me know if the twisting of the canvas is something you don't like. Uh, I'm always trying to find new ways to film these, right? Like I could use a webcam and film from the top down, but then I have to keep my iPad stationary and anyways, we'll figure it out, right? This is a new channel. I'll figure out ways to do things. 
see that's that's that cut <laughs> ta-da the keys are filled and then add a pencil right there because why not gotta have something on the desk and then I realized the lines on the pencil were wrong <sighs> excuse me I did not want to yawn in this video but there we go yeah I could try to cut it out but eh. I am tired. I have been working on this voiceover for almost two hours now. And we're getting to the part where it usually starts lagging out on me. Hopefully it won't. Cross our fingers. Laying in the color. Anyone familiar with my channel will know that I use the same colors in a lot of my graphics. That pale yellow, the goldenrod not necessarily this purple and I had a hard time finding a purple I liked for the the mouse pad there but like the keys that make up the keyboard and the white around them the yellowish white um, I like those colors and I decided to do them in a rainbow pattern of course I wish my real keyboard was these colors. It is not. It is just a standard black, maybe Logitech? No, Dell. It is a Dell brand keyboard. <laughs> uh, the one in my other room is one of the fancy light up ones, but that's on my gaming computer, not on my work computer. I know, fancy, right? I've got two. <laughs> it's because I work from home and I needed a computer in a quiet room that I could work on as opposed to the gaming computer which is in my bedroom that I share with my wife so gotta have something to do when we're hanging out in there together we don't really hang out in the living room and on this part here um, starting on the colors of the monitor I realized I was on the wrong layer <laughs> there we go. New layer. And then that was totally on accident, um, making it a different shade of dark gray with that line in there. But I really like the way it came out because it looks like a highlight. So we're just, you know, kind of going with it. Coloring the pencil. And over to the bookshelf. Oh no, wait, we gotta do the window. Sky blues are my worst enemy, but I went with that one. And then it's hard to tell right now, but I made that thin strip white because that's how it is on my windows. Um, I'm gonna darken in the sh the window sill in just a moment, so that'll make it easier to see. You know, browns are the hardest colors for me to work with. I just, I don't like them. And the blue in the pencil cup. And then hiding the pencil cup so I can see the pens. <laughs> Grabbing the same color yellow for the pencil. And I think I made it a little darker since it's supposed to be in the shadows down here. Yeah, you can hardly see the pen, but it's whatever. And then red for the box, but the red, bright red was too bright, so I made it darker. And then a blue for the book. Don't ask me what book it is. I don't know. It's just a book. A little bit of cleanup. And on to the plant. I 
I suppose the pot could have been a little more orangey. It's not too bad though. It's definitely a different brown than the bookcase, so that is good enough for me. And a nice dark brown for the dirt. And then of course hiding the dark brown so I can see the where the stems go. <laughs> Vines? Stems. I think stems. Anyways, <laughs> I'm no botanist, clearly. I do believe I changed this kind of almost lime greenish color to a darker green as well. Yeah, there we go. And then a little bit darker for the leaves. I meant to do little white lines on the leaves, you know, the striations and variations that you see in greenhouse plants, but I forgot, so they're just plain green leaves. There goes some darkening on the windowsill just to give it some dimension, break it up from that wall, and then I believe we start adding, oh I'm fiddling with the mouse pad here, uh, trying to I wanted a galaxy vibe and then I didn't put the stars in so you know it's just kind of a dark bluish purple <laughs> which is fine it is what it is it's probably better that way don't need to get too detailed and then trying to add some dimension to the monitor and then the keyboard probably could have done more for the keyboard, but after drawing in all those keys, I just did not want to. And the purple one, and then a little bit of cleanup here in the corner. bit on the front of the keyboard and the front of the monitor and then I believe some shadows yes here we go one more shadow in the bookcase oh yeah here I wanted to see what it would look like in screen and it wasn't too bad but I'm gonna group all these layers up so that I can have a single flat layer to mess with the saturation and stuff just to make it not as loud like I like the bright colors but having it less loud is gonna be less distracting for the videos You know, maybe I can use this as the background for the banner for the YouTube channel. That might be cool. Everything will be kind of tied together. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. We're wrapping up here. Adjusting those levels one more time. Alright, all you gotta do now is like, comment, subscribe, and join me for next time.